Next question is from S Powers 28. Do you choose your weight based on RPE or simply aim for whatever you lifted during your last workout? Yeah, I so RPE is what rate rate of perceived exertion. Yeah. Um, you know, and they give it a name or whatever. I I I I move toward more towards that than anything. Why? Because the way that I feel each day can change. And so if I go into the workout saying I'm going to train at 70% of my one rep max and I feel a particular way that, you know, maybe doesn't back that up, then I'm going to follow how I feel. The only time I like percentages based off of maxes are for specific types of strength athletes like powerlifters, where I think it has more value. But I think for most people, you should go off of your perceived exertion because, you know, 10 reps with 200 pounds may feel very, very intense to you one day and another day it may feel a lot easier i feel like this is just another mm -hmm. example how our the fitness space loves to overcomplicate things right? totally just, unless you're a, a a strength athlete where you you need to be progressing in strength like week over week or and you're, you're and you have a peak date yeah and whatever. you have a peak and you got to compete and stuff like that like i never measured percentages like this and like took my body to the ultimate peak level the way it looked wise fitness wise like I just think that if someone hears this and they're like, oh, well, where I got to figure out what I need to yeah. put on the bar here and I'm not sure. Or, yeah. I did this last week, so what should I do this week? It's like, whoa, dude. Like, <laughs> How do you feel? Whoa. Yeah, it's not that It's not that crazy. It's like literally you have a pretty good idea of what you think you could do, right? Okay, let's put that on the bar. Let me not do a set. How do you feel? Was that really fucking hard? Was that really easy? Like, where are you at? Should we cut back on some weight because your form was off a little bit? I mean, it's, it's well, literally try, that simple. They think that they're making it easier by like sort of standardizing these things. Yeah. Like, the, like simplifying it, well, they made it way more complex. Yeah, like you said, like you could just literally go based off your feel, but you have to do work in order to assess what that feeling is, you know, for that day. So you have to do uh, that. That comes with experience. You know, every time you go to approach weights, mm -hmm. like your body, you you understand that you have different days where you feel stronger, and in different days, and there's multitude of factors that yeah. that contribute to that. So you can't just like standardize that to everybody and be like, oh, well, this is going to be your percentage. Uh, for the day and they've tried this with HRV even and the, you know just because the science has helped kind of guide it but it's just not perfect the, the way I always teach clients is like lean towards lighter okay so always put on the bar a little less than what you think you could do for that set because the goal is to be two reps short of failure and if you uh, underestimated so much that when you're you know, doing 10 reps and you're at rep 5 and you're like oh shit this is way light I could have put 50 more pounds on this thing slow the reps down Literally just slow. Aim for the intensity you were looking for. Yes. Yeah. So if you were looking for an intensity yep. that would be struggling at eight, nine, and 10 to get it done, but you feel like at five, six, this is way too light. I could have put 50 more pounds. Slow the tempo down. Dude. Go way slower. People need to. There you go. People need to understand that. I could, I could make 60 pounds feel like 100 pounds very easily through focus, technique, tempo, and make it just as effective. So that's a that's a great advice. Here's another thing that I think uh, is important to communicate to people. It's not just how you feel going into the workout, but how you feel as you're working out. Yeah. And I have to say this because yeah. I've had people go into a workout with a particular mentality and then ignore their body the whole workout. Like they, oh, I'm supposed to do eight sets of squats. I feel really good. Yeah, and just looking at the numbers and pushing through. Yeah, and then by set four, they they know like, uh oh, this is too. But they, oh no, I got to do you know more sets. Like you, you can change your mind halfway through. It happens to me all the time in both directions. It's happened to me before where I start a workout feeling like, oh, you know, I'm a little tight. I don't know. And then halfway through, I'm like, no, I'm feeling good. And it happens the other way too, where I start to back off. Like that's the ultimate guide is how you're feeling at any given moment and pay attention to that. And that's what I mean by well, here's the fitness space, overcomplicating stuff and throwing acronyms, thinking that you're simplifying. It's like, dude, none of that shit matters for most of the population. And if you're somebody who really grasps this, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. If you're somebody who loves to calculate all this stuff up, you track all your weights and you're all about increasing your strength and that's all you care yeah. about. But the general population, that's not their main focus. They want to lose some body fat, build a little bit of muscle, be healthy, move better and like getting caught up and hung up on stuff like this. Waste like, of time. Yeah, it's a waste of time for 95% of you.